hello 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 guys welcome back to my youtube channel you know i know you miss me and i miss you so much if you are just passing by and fortunately for both of us you just got to my video just wait relax don't go at least give me the benefits of the doubt let me finish with this video and maybe you're gonna get a reason why you need to subscribe to the channel and if you're an old subscriber People are just too much because you are you are being magical. You are being miracle. I mean, is the <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you for showing me love always, and I do appreciate it. In fact, I can love you less. Yeah. I, yeah. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss about what to bring to Canada. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, giggle what should I do? What should I pack? How should a oh, man? I just thought it wise let me share with you what i did that helped me and the mistakes i also did i don't want you to repeat it. do not repeat it. and i'm not here gonna be like the normal youtubers who's gonna be like don't bring this don't bring that no i'm just gonna give you everything i did and at the end of the, this video i'm sure you would know what exactly you need to pack for your canada journey i know don't give me reasons I know you are packing i know you are planning to come because i've given you a lot of videos in fact whatever i did i have told you already the documents you need to put in which school you need to go i've given you everything so by now i'm expecting you to at least waiting for your passport or something medicals you know just that i would say just that you can never feel when you start start and believe in god that god is going to give you what you want start do the right thing and pray and it will definitely work for you so don't give me excuses so before i move on i'm even going to talk about some skills you will need to bring to this country you know as a lady you've been hearing it and it is serious learn how to at least look good learn how to play with your hair learn how to braid let oh, your own hair i'm not saying come and do it if by some reasons you want to come uh, commercialize it that is that is super good but for your own good learn how to braid learn how to wash your hair learn how to look good trust me you will need it because braiding in this country cost just the braiding not the hair extension just the braiding cost hoping 200 the minimum you're gonna get here is 150 dollars to 200 dollars that is and it's not easy it's not easy to come by that money as an international student in this country so please learn how to do those things learn how to put a normal makeup don't go and pay my people to give to be doing makeup on your face and charging you learn how to put on normal makeup learn how to look good in this country at least you don't have to look like your problems mm -hmm. don't look you know the previous hair i was carrying in my previous video i made them myself and it took me a whole day but yes still it came out good i was able to carry it for one whole month which is absolutely good and for guys i don't know how simple or how difficult it is to shave your own hair but trust me if it's something you can work around it just do it because shaving your own shaving hair in this country costs 35 dollars to 50 dollars minimum some could charge less but that's what they charge for shaving your hair the hair that will grow back in two weeks or three weeks <laughs> if you're not lucky yeah. two weeks three weeks you have to go back and shave it again so if you know how to do it or if you don't know just try and learn you know now you're at home you're not coming you can wear a cap you can wear anything so just try it if it works out it's perfect if it doesn't you wear a cap <laughs> you do sakura for a while keep trying to get you get better you know it's good to know how to do it because you don't want to be spending so much on these things and also if you have a shaving kit you can bring some from god they have some here but if you're coming in here sometimes some prizes or some things might be expensive to you so bring them if your lady have a dry have a straight night have curl curl or whatever bring them but one thing i'm going to tell you is the uh, sockets here are different so you could probably get an adapter which I got mine from Jumia in Ghana. So you can also try and buy yours from Jumia. It was it didn't cost much, no. It was it was around was it 30 cities, somewhere like 200 cities, but about 30 cities, and that's what I've been using. Though I don't use them for heaters and other things, but I just use them for charging my my phone and 
these things <laughs> my usb plugs from Ghana. that's what i use for it and maybe for a laptop or something but if you are going to i don't know how it would work if i start using a color or a straightener but i'm sure you can get a proper one from Ghana, which is still cool because one thing that got me so pain in this country was when i bought a protector for my phone a screen protector or a screen guard which is like 15 cities in my country i bought it for ten dollars i refused to convert it but i felt it was too much so please there are some things like this you can also consider when you are coming change all your screen protectors i don't know how you can protect it or carry it along but change it all before you get into the country buy new charges buy everything new they're a bit cheaper but we have charges here we have everything here but you know when you come in new and you're trying to settle in and the spirit of conversion is still in you you're trying to convert stars they tell you ten dollars start calculating ah, ten dollars is almost hundred cities in my country yes i know that spirit will work if for nothing for the first one month it will still be working so at least get something bring some some of these things charges um power banks you need a power bank even on the flight you need a power bank if you don't get a charger you need a power bank so make sure you bring them um so let me move on to the documents you need every document in your life you know as an international student you are at least coming to spend a minimum of one year in this country and one year is so long for new opportunities new things to come your way and there are some things which might require some certificates some of these companies do not even take photocopies they need original copies so if you have them just carry them along besides you're the one coming so why are you leaving your documents or your certificates behind bring all your educational documents bring all your working documents if you have amy Henry, whatever just carry that along if possible if you have a kindergarten terminal report just bring them you might never know it might serve as something for you here and the most important thing if you know how to drive bring your driver's license because you, you don't even want to know how stressful it is in this country to start from zero moving in starting with your g1 g2 is a long process so if you have your driver's license with more than two two years or three years experience if you come here you can skip some of the processes and within the shortest possible time you will get your license and start driving start driving i know you're asking why are you not driving yet i'm still yes i'm preparing to ride that <laughs> i'm still preparing i'll get there when i get a sound mind definitely i'm hoping on it and i'll start driving mm -hmm. so if you're also driving you don't i've not been i mean i've not experienced winter yet but what they say is scary and i'm sure if you have the money you would love to buy a car during those times because they are saying they i don't know but they are saying the winters are not friendly so you need to prepare yourself when coming at least you have your license you go through a short process you get a driver's license you can buy a car you can get used cars as less as let me talk about good used cars as less as maybe four thousand dollars five thousand dollars which you can actually save and buy so you can also consider when you are coming if you're a lady and you have these weights i don't know how their weights look there but i've been to one hair shop my friend took me he was like this hair shop is the biggest hair shop <laughs> in this area but man hey <laughs> for me personally i didn't see any good wig there though they have some with the price as much as four hundred dollars five hundred dollars but yes still i didn't see like going back to ghana you see those hairs over there man some are just sleek bring your wigs don't think you're coming up with so you don't want to bring your wigs bring them bring them bring your front tires your closures whatever bring them because your wigs from home could actually be better and coming in new when you unbraid your hair you will need those wigs so bring them bring your wigs if you have hair dyes you are i mean used to in, a, in ghana or your home country you can consider bringing them i brought some though from my, from ghana and i've not bought some from this place i don't know how it's gonna be like like so harsh so calm on me i've not used them yet there are so many things i've not even tried yet i'm still in that uh, ghana mood <laughs> so i've not really experienced or i mean tried so many things i'm still learning and i'm taking one step at a time also your dresses you know 
this is what a lot of youtubers i still have problems with them when i was coming you know most of them be like don't bring us don't bring us fire will burn them <laughs> fire will burn them man let me tell you one thing bring whatever you feel like you want to wear though they are nice clothes here yeah, fine it's true it's true but man who has that money to be buying those things and if you're coming in let's say in spring in summer bring all your clothes because you will need them i'm literally wearing this this thing i would have been wearing in, in ghana or something because the weather is literally the same looking at our weather now and the weather back home so if you're coming in spring or summer bring your clothes you will need them because if we don't have any money she was going to provide money the moment you get to this country you will need to settle in if you have a sponsor who will be sponsoring you with money that's fine but if you don't have it means you need to at least calm down a little before you start buying these things so bring them but you know there are some things that are less expensive in ghana and also if you're coming in in maybe for some springs are a bit cold you can bring in your hoodie they have nice hoodies in ghana clothes that keeps you warm are not cheap in this country i'm telling you this they are not cheap they are not cheap so if you have a couple of hoodies you can organize them into your bag if you have space put them in and bring them there is no particular style here they are not saying we are in canada so they are wearing this particular style no everybody is wearing whatever they, they have so if you have space and you can carry like three four five hoodies if you're that's if you're coming in in a cold um season bring them don't hesitate bring them you will need them the few days because i have somebody who came in the person literally didn't bring anything the only thing she was wearing was just one clue can you imagine you got to the country you've already exhausted a lot of money so you're not even carrying even if you're carrying much you're being very cautious on your expenditure and everything because you don't know when you're getting you're going to get a job you don't know how things are going to go because you need to rent you need to pay rent the rent payment in this country is not a joke landlady doesn't care if you came in new you will pay and the following month she needs you still need to pay so you have to consider so many things before you start spending on clothes and things so bring them if you can because you can get hoodie as low as 200 cities which is like 20 dollars here and man you it's not common for you to get a hoodie 20 dollars hoodie in this country unless maybe they are doing sales so if you have them bring them bring all your dresses bring your check dresses all the dresses you want to wear bring them but don't pack them too much because the funny thing is ghana um canada has what am i talking about canada, canada has four seasons and all these seasons have <laughs> all these seasons have the dresses you're gonna wear during summers you're gonna wear entirely different dresses during fall it's a bit colder than the spring so you're gonna wear different dresses and during spring you're gonna wear winter is the most so it's winter you are not joking around winter with spring or fall dresses you're just gonna need need new set of clothes for that so just pack moderately don't pay extra at the airport for your clothes just pack moderately you have two luggages plus extra so you can just decide maybe let me just make one full clothes and few shoes and one for food you will need food you think i want to talk about food oh let's move on to food all this local food before you come let me tell you try and eat your local your favorite local food before you come that's a mistake I did. I didn't eat. I didn't eat because few days to my fly date, I was like, I, I want to eat this food. Before I realized I was in the plane, I couldn't eat. And right now, I can't even find this food here. So, guys, the video was getting so long and I didn't want to bore you. So, I'm going to end it here and I'll upload the party right after this video. Love you all.